yeah, excited to dig into a talented group. Um, I think the the live bullet, uh, the exhibition served us well, but at the same time, I think the the idea that we we're going to play a, a new opposition with with real points on the line and uh, live standings on the line, that the guy's been a long time coming. So we're excited about that opportunity. Questions for <clears throat> Coach Luke on this weekend. Coach, after you had a chance to look at the tape from uh, last Saturday's game, uh, what stood out to you both uh, positive and some things that you uh, wanted to work on right away when you got to practice this week? Well, I, I thought, first of all, I thought I, I liked our conditioning. I was, um, you, you're always kind of wondering where you're at when you go against just yourself all the time. Um, I, I thought we pretty, we held true to, to where our standard was as far as uh, heart rate and things of that nature, workload all the way through. That was important for us to see. Um, I liked our pace. Um, I thought we got to some smothering points of the game. Now we got to turn some of that into offense. Uh, I don't know if the goal line was built bigger last Saturday. Hopefully it's just a one-off, but uh, we, we got to get on the score sheet. We got to get inside on the score sheet. But defending scoring chance-wise, there were some good moments. Coach, how do you see the goaltending situation here going into this weekend? Are, are, are you looking to play one goalie, two goalies? I mean, what, what's kind of your, your outlook here? Yeah, I mean, the growth of, of that position is is going to be important for us. Um, you know, we returned three guys. They all had some play time a year ago. Um, right now, just out of situation, like, I think we've got the opportunity to play all three. Uh, Rance is very close to being returned. Uh, that, that puts us in, in a good footing on that side. Um, for me, like the idea that the Alex Tracy will probably, and, and Andrew Miller are probably, those two will be the, the two that probably get the majority of, of puck touches here early. Um, and we got to get Rance. Uh, he wants to be, we want him to be 100% before he, he enters the cage in a game. Coach, there were three other guys that did not see action on Saturday. Uh, their status going into this weekend. We're close. Um, you know, I, I anticipate that you'd see Souter and Steinmetz in the lineup. Um, they're both very close. They, they practice in regular color jersey. That's a, a good sign for us here. Um, Karaj is a little ways away yet. He He's just coming back, and, and we want to be certain, kind of with, with Rance, too, the same way. We want to be certain that they feel um, their confidence in, in where they're at physically. is It's 100%. So uh, they're, they're right on the cusp. Each step you want you want to make a or each week you want to make a step you know forward uh, you know for you guys this week uh, you know what, what is that? Well, it's number whatever eight team in the country. Um, we want to play to a standard that internally here that it doesn't matter on the opponent here, especially early. We want to make sure we're we're taking steps. I, for us, the depth of our group, um, the execution of our group, th those are big steps. Uh, getting the guys opportunity to get in and make sure we're solidifying our lineup every single night. Guys are fighting for their spots. There's a ton of pole position internally um, for reps and opportunity and I think growth inside. So um, those those are our big pieces, but we're here to win. So we want to go out and compete, put our, our best standard forward on the competitiveness to, to make sure at the end of the night the scoreboard's in our favor. Coach, you strike me as a guy who likes a good rivalry game. Uh, what do you know about this Mankato St. Cloud rivalry? Red and black, purple, gold. I, I know it's there. I mean, I know that there's been definitely, you, you know, you get into some regional play, you get into some um, history of NCAA play, as well as, uh, you know, just the in-state rivalry. We're, we're always internally, I think, in, in inside the state, um, whether – it does factor or not. I mean, there's there's recruiting involved. There's, you know, future player, like he's, people can use it as ammo against your program or for your program. Um, so we'll be ready. And I, I do think the, the one thing starting off against a high-end opponent um, is it's it's too, it's a metric for us to see where we're at, but we want to make sure that we're, we're taking steps to play properly and, and make sure our, our club is moving forward. I, I would imagine you've watched, uh, uh, you know, some video of, of, of St. Cloud State and St. Thomas from last weekend. Anything jump out at you, I guess, about 
St. Cloud State as, as you're getting ready for them? Uh, I think they skate. They've got stick skill. They're, I think, very – uh, they create opportunity with their with their foot speed, with their stick. Um, you know, they've got a goaltender that's stood very tall in the weekend, uh, made big saves that were uh, impactful moments of, of their games. Um, you know, watch out. We obviously rip off four power play goals tonight on Friday, and, and you score a, a tight game. So they, they've shown that they can score and yet play close. So uh, very high-end opponent to, to my saying. And then I think the other – the other side is that you want to see best players play best hockey and, and some of their high-end players play great games for them.